My sponsor is having a crazy sale to end the season, only $3 for 5 million coins, so if you're looking to get those last few season score tickets, make sure to check them out for cheap NBA Live Mobile coins. What's up, ballers? We are back with another position battle. The new Bill Walton that we just picked up in our video earlier. If you haven't, make sure you guys check that one out. Walt Frazier versus 95 Triple Double King Russell Westbrook. So we got another position battle going on right now. Bill Walton better in every stat. He gives a boost to the lineup, and he's got a special ability. I don't know any way he could possibly lose this. We're actually going to have different rules for this position battle because neither of these players can shoot three-pointers at all. We're doing only mid-ranges and dunks. So we're basically going to be swapping back and forth on those two, seeing who can get the most buckets. It'll be a little bit simpler, might not be as entertaining, but you guys will get the gist of who is the better player for sure. So we're going to go ahead and get started with Bill Walton, and we're also going to see how many blocks we can get. Typically, I go for steals with these players, but we're going to say they get an extra two points for every block that they get as well, contributing to their position battle score. So that should balance it out a little bit. I think I've actually done that before when I did a position battle with other big men. So hopefully that'll help even it out and make the score more accurate. So we're going in with, nope, that's not Bill Walton. There we go. Getting the dunk first play of the game. That was a little bit too easy. So we're going to get back with him. Let's see if we can get the opponent to drive to the basket so we can get some blocks right now. Going up against Shaq. They're just kind of sitting out there. Ooh, we get a steal right there. And dang it. All right, so we go out of bounds on the attempted dive to save the ball. Nope, switch to Bill Walton. There we go. All right, back inside. Let's see. Oh, I thought... For, oh, come on. I thought that was going to be a block, but we do get the stop. So we got Bill Walton. We have to go mid-range or, yeah, I guess mid-range next. All right, I know he's got 94 dribbling, so it shouldn't be an issue for me to cross up Shaq. I don't know why it's so difficult right now. All right, hit him with the step back, Bill. Oh, yeah, that was nice. Even hit the uh, little jump forward to give him plenty of space. Knocks it down right there. Hold up. We got switch players. Switch it to Bill. Switch. I can't switch it. Okay, we're going to go for the steal, I guess. All right. Switch it to Bill. There we go. We're going to block this in the paint. Oh. Oh, he faked me out. Okay, Donovan Mitchell. I actually haven't done gameplay with that card. I forgot he actually entered the game. Didn't really have any reason to pick him up because I don't think he's going to have... Oh, yes. I forgot to use our in the paint ability, but it doesn't really matter. Typically with players like that, once you get in the paint, you don't really need the ability anyway. Oh, Bill doesn't get the block, but he does get the stop. All right, back to Bill. We got to go mid-range next. Hit him with the step back. Oh, it looks like we kind of broke ankles. You know what? We're going to go with the fadeaway. Woo, he knocks it down over Shaq. Bill Walton not missing right now. Let's see. Let's get it switched to him. Oh, oh, he blocked it with a dude that has a 60 block rating. And where's Bill? There he is. In the paint ability. There we go. There we go. 10 points. He is looking nice right now. All right. Let's get back. Let's get at least one block this quarter. We got Tim Duncan got the in the paint ability. Bring it in here, Tim. Bring it on. Let's see if... All right. And we... Come on! Get the rebound, Bill. You should... He's a freaking 99 overall. It should be an easy rebound. All right. We're going to go in. Hit him with the step back once again. Oh, way outside, and he still knocks it down with, like, three people on him. What on earth? This dude is not missing a shot, and let's see. All right. Oh, wow. Jason Kidd just blocked Tim Duncan. Oh, LeBron James. Go get that ball. Over to... No, give it to Bill. Oh, yeah, the wide open mid-range plus seven. That is money right there. That's how we finish off a quarter, 14 to four with a big man nonetheless. 14 points with the big man. That's pretty impressive. We didn't even get that with one of our quarters with Walt Frazier. So I will take that for sure. Definitely off to a good start as long as we can get those boards, blocks, and rebounds. We're going to be good to go with this card. Plus, he's got that 94 dribble rating, so you know nobody's going to steal the ball from him. I think that's probably going to be the downfall of Daryl Dawkins is that he has a really, really bad dribble rating. So we're going to go, oh, I thought I was passing it to somebody else. Dunk first play of the game again. We're scoring in the first three seconds with him just about every time. All right, Bill, give me a give me a block right here. Oh, Jason Kidd gets the steal, but they pick it back up. That's all right. All right, bring it inside. Come on. Bill is ready to swat it out of here. Come on. 
Oh, bring it. Come on. Oh, my goodness. We did. <laughs> Our, what is that? Our shooting guard is the one that ends up getting the block. All right, Bill, hit him with the step back. The step back, fade away. Oh, my gosh. This dude does not miss inside the three-point line. This is crazy. Let's see. Where's Bill? Get it switched to Bill. All right, maybe not. We'll go for the steal. Oh, switch to... Oof. I thought he was going inside for sure on that one. All right. Why are, I know why you're scared. I wish you would just go ahead and bring it inside anyways because I'm trying to get some blocks with this dude and they don't want to bring it inside in the paint ability. There we go. Take it off again. This player, you're, you're not going to stop him. Like with a 94 dribble rating and a center, there's pretty much 0% chance you're going to get anything past. Oh my gosh. All right. So, all right. That's our ball. I attempted to block it. And it was an alley-oop and didn't go through. I think we I think we affected that. I don't I honestly don't know what just happened, but we'll take the uh, mid-range plus 14. Nobody's blocking him right now. Not even Patrick Ewing. He's looking unstoppable, guys. I'm really liking this card. Definitely glad that we replaced Daryl Dawkins with him. Because I wasn't a huge fan of the Daryl Dawkins card. And LeBron's gonna get his clutch ability. Not really anything we can do about that, but that's alright. It's only a two because he stepped on the line, so we're still looking good. All right, we got to go in next. We got to go for uh, layup slash dunk. Bill Walton throwing it down again. Nobody can even bump him. Like, they're not even altering his shot at all. He's just straight to the basket every time. His mid-range is automatic, and Chauncey's going to get his clutch ability. Nothing we can do about that once again. But that's all right. We still got 10 points. I'm thinking we're going to finish with 12 or 14. It should be pretty close. Bill, whoa, that was close. All right. With a hand in his face. Literally, it doesn't matter how much people are guarding him. This dude does not miss a shot. This is crazy. All right. Let's get it switched to Bill. Would you take the ball inside for once in your life? Bring it, Kevin. Oh, all right. I guess Bill got the steal. Somebody else got the steal, I think. Uh, and we got the in the paint ability. There we go. Finishing with 14 points once again. I very rarely get 28 points in a position battle with a point guard, much less a center. And that should be a miss once again. Killing it that quarter. 14 to 5. That's going to be tough for Daryl Dawkins to beat. I don't know if his mid range is good enough to keep up with that. But we will see. We'll go ahead and hop into some gameplay with him and see what he can do. Going up against 99 Shaq is definitely going to be a challenge. Let's see what he can do. I'm afraid Shaq's size is going to be a big issue for Daryl Dawkins. I guess we'll find out. Let's see. Going inside to him. First play of the game. Yep. Shaq creating some contact on that first play. Bill Walton did not miss a single shot. And Daryl Dawkins already missing one. And we... Wow. Allen Iverson gets fouled and still makes it. Good for you, sir. All right, Daryl Dawkins, we need this mid-range. All right, oh, the accidental fadeaway plus 12. Ooh, okay, he's knocking down the fadeaway. He might actually have a shot. I was doubting him in the beginning, but if he can get some blocks, he might actually be able to catch up since we are getting two points on blocks. How is that not blocked? Oh, my goodness. And, all right, Shaq throws the ball out of bounds, so we're going to get it back. Going back to Daryl for the layup slash dunk again. Hopefully he can get it to go this time. I don't know what his dribble rating is. I definitely should have checked out on that one. All right, Daryl, come on. I need you to get to the basket. I know he doesn't have a 94 dribble rating, so it's definitely going to be harder, but he gets the dunk to go on that one. So he might still have a shot. We really need to get people to come inside. They went inside on the last one, and I just, I just couldn't get the dunk, or the, the block, not the dunk. How are we going to get a dunk on defense? All right. Elgin Baylor throwing it down on us right there. Not sure what that nonsense was. And I was actually supposed to go for the mid-range right there, but he had the open dunk, so I figured why not go for it? We'll go for two mid-ranges for the next two plays. Let's see. Daryl Dawkins. Give me... Oh. All right. Here we go. Daryl out on the break. Let's see. Give me some space. Oh, on the, oh, yep. Okay, that 45 dribble rating is probably going to be the death of Daryl Dawkins in this player battle. It is going to be really tough because that is less than half of what Bill Walton's dribble rating is. And we still can't get a block. Come on now. All right, where's Daryl? Daryl! Daryl, where you at? Oh, my gosh, I can't get it to him. There we go. We get an open mid-range, though. Knocks it down. So he's still got eight points. Probably going to finish within two to four points of Bill Walton's first uh, first quarter score. 
which is not bad at all. If we can have some sort of crazy quarter and maybe get a few blocks, he might have a shot at it. All right, somebody bring the ball inside so I can get some blocks with this guy. Everybody is too scared to bring it inside. And I think we need to go for mid-range next. I think I'm supposed to go for two mid-ranges. All right, cross him up. Oh, hit him with the step back then. Plus seven. Ooh, he's still knocking down the mid-ranges, though. If only he had a good dribble rating, he would have a shot at this. But right now, if you're going to get the ball stolen like that, it's just not going to happen. Uh, so 10 points in our first quarter with Daryl Dawkins. We'll go ahead and open that up later. We got one more. We got to drop 18 points with him, which is next to impossible with a center, especially if we're not shooting any three-pointers. Unless we get like 20 steals in this quarter, I don't know how we're going to get the W with him. I kind of figured that Bill Walton would win anyway since he's the better player. He's got better stats. He's got boosts. He's got special abilities. There's just not really much that Daryl Dawkins has going for him other than his overall. So he does have a good mid-range. He's got a good shooting rating. Uh, he's got good defense, but really that's not what you need to win a position battle. You got to... Got to be able to dribble the ball, and we got blocked on that one, but we picked it up and going in for the dunk. So off to a good start. Still probably not what we need to get the W here unless we get some sort of crazy block streak going, and we still can't get a freaking block. It is too hard to get blocks in this game. Oh, my gosh, and that dribble rating coming at us once again. 45 dribble rating is just it's too much to work with. I can't do anything about it. All right, let's see, and whoa, all right, Bernard King throwing it down right there. Let's see where Daryl at. All right, going inside. All right, hit him with the dribble move. Okay, he can still dribble pretty well. Oh my gosh, happens again. I'm gonna have to let him get down in the post and then pass him the ball because otherwise he's gonna get the ball stolen on every single play. So we're gonna wait for him to come down the court right now. All right, Daryl. There we go. Light, nice, easy mid-range right there. If we can pass him the ball on the inside, then it's easy. Uh, but if we try to dribble with him, it's game over. That's one of the reasons why I like centers that can dribble the ball well. Is because if they can't, you really can't do anything with them unless you're passing the ball into them. And I like for I like for all the players on my team to be able to handle the ball pretty well. All right, we're going to pass it out because he was probably going to get the ball stolen again. He's going to throw... Whoa! Wow, that was a crazy shot animation. Daryl Dawkins with the... That was like a Julius Irving type reverse layup. That was that was actually pretty impressive. All right, let's get a stop right here. And that's not Daryl... I finally get the block and it's not with Daryl Dawkins. Are you kidding me? All right, do not get this stolen. All right, hit him with the mid-range, plus 12. And he misses it! Uh, yeah, that was pretty heavily guarded. In my defense, though, Bill Walton would have hit that shot. All right, let's go inside. Can we get... Just one block. I just want one block in this entire player battle. Come on, Daryl. And they're probably not going to bring it inside, so we're not going to get a block. Nope. Not going to get a block from that far in. So Daryl Dawkins taking the L. I kind of figured he would. Bill Walton's just the better card. And I accept that. So Bill Wal or uh, Daryl Dawkins actually lost by 10 points in that one. Definitely pick up that Bill Walton if you can, guys. You don't really have anything else to spend your coins on anyway, because we're at the end of the game. There are only like two positions that don't have a 99, so might as well get them if you can. Check out my coin sponsor if you haven't already, because I'm pretty sure they're selling coins at like $3 per 5 mil. Crazy, crazy cheap. But that's going to be it for this episode. I hope you guys did enjoy. Make sure to comment, like, and subscribe if you haven't already. Or no, subscribe if you haven't already. Drop a like down below and comment what your thoughts are on the card. <laughs> And I'll see you guys next time.